this is Michelle Kane with Michelle Kane Photography and Actions. For this video tutorial, we'll be doing just a clean, simple, straightforward color edit, and we're going to just be playing up the background a little bit, adding some tones in there that aren't naturally found in the original picture, just to give it some interest and make it look a little cooler. So on this picture, we're going to be going from what you see on the screen here to this will be our final edit. So we're going to be adding some warmth and drawing some attention to the cool streaky wall and behind him and adding some blue flare um, to the left of the picture just to add some some different tones in there. So starting with the original here I'm going to duplicate the background there and we're just going to work on the skin a little bit and we just need to come in here and grab the patch tool and we'll just make a little selection around some of these blemishes here in his skin and the patch tool does a really nice job of filling in the patched area with skin tones and textures that match so nothing gets flattened or too smooth in comparison. And I can't seem to make this selection right here. There we go. There we are. And maybe this one right up in here. And this one here. Now the dots under his eyes are actually birthmarks that he asked that I keep in there, so we'll go ahead and leave those alone. So once you have that done, you can go ahead and flatten it out. Um, we don't need that layer in there necessarily. So I'm going to flatten it. And we need to start by warming things up a little bit. Now with the skin tone, I would normally probably make these adjustments in Lightroom. I like to do all of my white balance adjustments in there just because it's super duper easy with those white balance sliders. Um, but sometimes I still need to add or change the white balance and in this case we need to add some warmth. So I'm going to play Turn Up the Heat from the Heart and Soul Collection and that's going to add more of a warm yellowy tone, skin tone, and if we click it off can see we had kind of a reddish skin tone before now we've got a warm one and it defaults to 50% I'm gonna go ahead and pull it down to about 30 so once we've played that I know I want to lighten up the picture a little bit because the space is a bit dark but I know that some of the actions I'm gonna run will have a lightening effect built in there so I don't want to do that now I'm gonna play those actions first and then if we need to lighten up further then we can so the action that I like to start with just on almost every single one of my pictures is called Bland a Brilliant, and it just does wonders for images. So I'm going to hit play on that, and it will run through the steps there. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here so we can see what Bland a Brilliant has done. So for this particular image, um, it gave it a lot of contrast, and almost too con much contrast in the hair and in the wall there. We started to see it getting really black, and I just personally don't like that. So we could just take this layer mask and start to use a black brush to mask off the hair and the wall or I can open it up and there's a layer in there called boost and on this layer I'm going to go ahead and grab my black brush from my white mask and begin to brush some of this boost out of his hair and actually a little bit out of the eye as well just a little too contrasty and then out of the wall just a little bit I mean, it can be darker, but it's just a little too dark. So once we have that run, um, there is a, a brighten up layer, brighten brilliant layer in here that we could adjust and make it a little bit brighter here. But I'm going to hold off yet again because I'm going to play an action called Euphoria, and it's going to lighten things up for me automatically. And it is in the Delicates set here in the Creative Heart set and Euphoria will give just a nice kind of skin tone, a creamy warmth to the skin. And once it's done playing, it's too much at the 100% opacity set, so we're going to come down here to maybe about 55%. And I'm basically doing this mostly for the skin and not so much the background and not the shirt, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my black brush again from my white mask, come in about 40% opacity on that brush, and just remove it off of some of these areas that I don't really need it like I want the blue in a shirt to show up and we don't really need too much of it down in the wall so once I've removed Euphoria from where I don't need it I'm just gonna click it on and off to make sure that it's giving me the look that I want 
and it did brighten up his skin quite a bit. It gives us just a beautiful skin tone. The other area you guys see I want to take it off of is the hair because it's starting to look a little bit orange. So just remove some of that off of the hair there. It's always good to click your eyeballs on and off on these layers so you can see the effects and see if it was a good thing or a bad thing or if you need to up or lower your opacity. And I'm going to lower this euphoria down just a little bit more to about 47%. So once the euphoria is done, I know that I want to darken up this background just a little bit so that he's the bright spot in the picture and he pops out of it a little bit more. Um, I also want to give some softness and some richness to the picture. And so we're going to go up and play Sumptuous Smolder. And that's going to achieve that for me. And now we're going to click this on and off so you can see the richness, especially in the blue shirt over on the right hand side of the picture um, obviously the left hand side of the wall is really dark again so we're going to keep this sumptuous smolder and just remove it basically where it's too much so we're going to grab a black brush again about 30 percent opacity brush and let's just start to brush it off the hair a little bit where it's too dark I'm going to brush it off of this lower part of the wall here and then I'm going to come in and really go on the eyes because I certainly don't want to darken up his eyes any. And then I'll lower the opacity of the brush to about 10. I'll just hit the 1 on my keyboard for that. And I'll just slowly start to build up these strokes of removing this sumptuous smolder off of his face where it's a little too much. Now if I want to go back in and add it back in, I would just switch my brush color to white to add it back in. Black again takes it out. So I think that looks pretty good. Again, I'm going to click the eyeball on and off, make sure I've got the light where I want. You know, actually, I'm going to take some more off um, just right up above his head. So it kind of looks like some more light is angling down over the top of him. We can kind of create some directional light so it's not so dark behind him. So once that's achieved, I want to tone the image a little bit. And this is where we're going to create those different tones that aren't in the original picture. And the first one I'm going to use in the Creative Heart set is called Cosmic Ray. And this is going to give kind of a funky blue overtone to the dark areas of the picture. And I'm going to drop that down about 42% looks pretty good for the background. And again, I'm looking for it to be on the wall, not, pretty, not on him. So I'm going to look at this again with it before and after. And again, using a black brush for this white layer mask, we're going to cover up some of this on his hair. I don't really want him to have that tone on his hair and on his skin. And maybe just a little bit down his shirt. So now, I pretty much got this action called Cosmic Ray working for the background. And he's left alone. The next color I want to put in there is Sapphire. And that's going to give me a little bit more blue. So when you want to create a color that's not even in your picture, go to these tones and play with them and see which ones are going to provide you with the colors that you're looking for. So Sapphire is going to give us even more blue and <clears throat> this is way too much on this picture. I don't want the Sapphire everywhere. So what I'm going to do is take the existing white layer mask and invert it. So Command or Control I and now we've covered that entire Sapphire coloring up with um, this black layer mask. I'll switch my colors of my brush to white to paint on the black mask. And I'm just going to paint it in now where I want it. Before I was masking things out, and now I'm actually masking what I want in. So I'm masking the sapphire in slowly with a 20 or 30 percent opacity brush just into the wall, a little on his shirt. And that looks pretty good to me. The last thing is I just want to smooth out some of the noise that I have in the background. I just like a smoother looking picture, a creamy looking picture. You can do this with Flawless Face. It's kind of my go-to. Um, it takes a little bit longer to run than what we're going to run, which is Bring on the Bokeh. And so um, I'm just going to run this Bring on the Bokeh instead. But Flawless Face, Bring on the Bokeh, either will work really well for this. So Bring on the Bokeh just plays right on top of Sapphire and it's going to tell us how to use that action but basically we got a black mask covering this um, softening effect up and so we're going to paint it in with um, a low opacity white brush 
And I'm even going to just zip it over his shirt just a little bit. And that gives that illusion of creaminess once again. I want the texture in the wall, so I'm not going to go too far on the wall. If I do, I can always hit <clears throat> my black brush and begin to remove it out of the picture. There we go. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit on his face. And we're going to take just a tiny bit of softness and add it in just around the top part of his face. Now he's a guy, obviously he wants to look like a guy with texture and you know manly features, so I'm not going to smooth um, all of these areas on his skin out of control. I'm just going to give him a little bit of softness here and there. Just like that. And that pretty much should do it. If we needed a little bit of pop, we could always come in there and add a little bit of contrast if we needed to. If you want to amp up your colors, you're welcome to do that. But taking a look back, here's where we started. And in a few steps, just working the picture in sections, here's where we end. Thanks for watching. Um, please be sure to check in on the rest of the tutorials available. And have a wonderful day.